How to handle confusion. Ugh. Have you been inside a deal and you start getting confused? You know, the things that the customer is saying to you, the objections they're giving you, the stalls they're giving you, they get mis-emotional or emotional. I don't want to do this right now. Now is not the right time. We don't have the budget for this. We don't have money. I need to speak to the board. I need to speak to my spouse. I need to speak with the MD. I'm not the decision maker. There's so much going on in your deal. You don't know what to do or you can end up going with the confusion and cost you your deal. It will cost you your deal. It will cost you your deal if you go with the confusion. Look, you need to you need to remain calm. You need to be stable. You need to be able to be that comfortable no matter what your customer is saying. Okay, there's a course that I did, all right, that can help you get better in communication with your customer. It will train you how to remain calm, how to remain steady, so that no matter what the customer's throwing at you, no matter what's going on in your environment, you're gonna stick with your pitch. Okay, so that's one thing that you can do. The other thing that you can do right now is you need to practice, you need to drill, you need to rehearse your presentation, your sales cycle, your sales process, what you're gonna say, how do you handle your objections. Start writing them down and figuring out solutions on what do you say when someone says, I'm not interested. Start writing it down when the customer says, I'm not interested. Now is not the right time. We don't have a budget for us. Okay, for this. Um, we don't have um, the we have bad credit or call me in the next quarter, next month. You hear these things all the time on the phone or face to face with your customer. Write them down. Start figuring out what you're gonna say to handle that to get past that so you can get to the fact finding and demonstrating your product or your service to your customer. Okay, but the key element here is you need to practice. You need to drill, you need to rehearse, you need to know where you are in your sales cycle. Okay, right now, am I busy presenting the product? Or right now, am I just introducing myself? Okay, right now, am I, am I in the close? Right now, am I mid the negotiations? What is the actual steps, the road, the path you take to your sale, to your close, to where you take the, where you give them delivery and or, or, or where they sign a contract or they give you money? You need to know. The so-called needs to be imprinted in your mind, and it's so stable that no matter what happens, a freaking atom bomb could drop, okay? A submarine could explode, and they, they could be like freaking a, a comet coming from the sky that hits planet Earth. Freaking cars start rolling over, your customer starts freaking out or whatever, or they start throwing anger and antagonism at you, cussing at you, man, I've had it, man. Or hanging up on you and you need to pick up the phone and call them back. There's so much that can happen. Don't go with the confusion, okay? Take one thing and stick with it. It is a data. Your script is data, information that you're delivering to your customer, and that will keep you stable. We call it a stable datum. Okay, if you run off with the confusion, you're gonna be running around trying to get the MD, the CFO, come back, handle the customer, find out how we can handle the, the it's just you're running off with the confusion. Drill how to handle it, park it aside, acknowledge it, and get going on your sales process by moving your customer on that process and remain stable, okay? That's how you handle confusion and what happens in the deal. You don't wanna start getting confused yourself because you start wandering off and that's a problem. It'll cost you your deal, okay? Do you agree with that? Don't you agree with it? Should it be used? Should it not be used? Do you like this content? Don't you like it? Let me know. Comment below. Use it. Let me know whether it works out for you or it doesn't. Give me your input. I'd love to hear from you, man. I'm always looking to hear from my followers, all right? And don't forget, 10x your day and subscribe on YouTube.